if you have a home location where the address is wrong in the Garmin Drive Smart or if it's just not found, this is how to fix it. Now what I've done here is I've used a place called Just Go Supermarket as my home location. So this just for sake of example here. So when I go to Ooh, focus please. There we go. When I go to saved and I look at this, that's where it is. Well let's just say where that is. It's just wrong and it was supposed to be something like here or here or here. Well this is how we fix that. First thing I'm going to do is actually get the coordinates of where I want the home location to be. So for that we use Google Maps and I'm going to go ahead and I have the location right here so I'm going to bring that up first which is right there. I'm going to zoom in on that and then I'm going to turn on the satellite imagery layer alright and let's just say instead of and I'm zooming in instead of here it was supposed to be here or actually rather right here so this is the spot I want so when I press go home on my Garmin Drive Smart. I want it to end up right in this spot or navigate me to this spot. So at this point I'm going to take my mouse and right click once and I get the coordinates right there. We'll get back to this in a moment. Okay back to the Drive Smart. So what I'm going to do here is I'm, you go to saved. Now if you have a bunch of favorites in here and you just want to find your home location you can just search and just type in HO and it will find home. Okay, you find it that way. We delete it. So I click on the little I and then I click on the hamburger and then delete. Okay. There's nothing in there now. Well, there's no home location in there now. The next thing I need to do is I need to enable GPS simulator mode. So I'm going to run back to the where to screen and then go to settings and then I'm going to scroll down a little bit oh I'm sorry no I don't <laughs> I go to navigation first then I scroll down GPS simulator now I have this currently enabled and you know it's enabled when you go back to your where to screen and you see a little cross out mark on the uh, signal now at this point I'm going to enter in this coordinate. So I go to where to. Now I have coordinates on my home screen, but if you don't, categories, and then scroll all the way to the bottom, and you get coordinates here. Then you need to set your coordinate format, which you do from here. Now ordinarily it's either set to degrees, decimal minutes or degrees minutes seconds the one that you want is this one which is decimal degrees 3d's and 6d's after that on older newbies and drive smarts it would be 3d's and 5d's after it it's okay because the way google Maps shows it they actually put five after it instead of six that's okay because on the sixth digit we can just enter a zero which I'll show you in a moment the point is in order to enter this coordinate into the drive smart it has to be set to this format so decimal degrees 3d's and 60's or again on older units 3d's and 5d's fine and then back okay now you'll notice there is latitude and longitude but it doesn't show it with north and west on the new beard, uh, excuse me, on Google Maps, but it does here. Well, there's a reason for that. The first number, if it is a positive number, it is north. If it's a negative number, it is south. If the second number is a positive number, it's east. If it's a negative number, it's west. So, this one being a positive number, it would be north. 
and this one being a negative number, it's west. That's how you tell the difference between the two. Also, the reason that there is this one starts with a zero is because it can start with a 100. Now, for those of you in the United States living in California, you would see these uh, start with a 100, depending on what part of the state that you're in. Let's go ahead and add this in. So we have 3306815, which we will enter in as north 33. Oh, six, oops, oh, six, eight, one, five. For the last digit, because it didn't give us one, we'll just enter that as a zero, and that's fine. And then we'll do the same thing. Now we're on the next number, so we'll start that as a west. And remember, it's three digits, so but it's a 96, so we'll start it with a zero. Zero, nine, six. And then six nine five four one six nine five four. Whoops, typed it incorrectly. Six nine five four one. Last digit zero. There it is. It's up there. Now at this point, I scroll down a little bit and I set location, which you can only get when you're in simulator mode, and that's why we went into it. There it is. We don't save, we don't go. We go back to the where to screen. And then go home and use current location. And now it's set. Now the home location is exactly where I wanted it to be. It is on that coordinate precisely right there. And that's how you fix a home location in a new V or drive smart.